All right, here we are. I'm very nervous about this. Um, so in the last part, we finished setting up all the cameras and the library. And we know that Rontoro is planning something. Um, yeah, that's where we are right now. We are heading back to the classroom now. To wait for the trailer to show up, right? All right, let's go. I, I feel like something's gonna happen in, in this one, but then again, I we'll see. Upon entering the classroom, a wave of anxiety suddenly overwhelmed me. Yeah, that hit me even before we entered this classroom. <laughs> my heart felt like it would be beat out of my chest at any moment. Then... Let's keep the door open a little, so we can see anyone going to the basement. Uh, yeah. Uh, um... Ah, Kaede. About the security sensor receiver. Hey! Could you hold on to it, please? I just feel like you'd be better suited for that than me. Ah, there's a power switch on it. Make sure you don't turn it off by accident. No. Now you hold on to it, Chuichi. You're the one who came up with this plan, and I trust you. Um. Also, Shuichi. You just said I'm better than you at something. Why do you say things like that anyway? Huh? What? You know? I guess it's good that we have some time left, because I wanted to talk to you about that. Uh, um... Talk to me? Yeah, let's go. Wait, do we get coins? Okay, no, now's not the time. <laughs> you know? It's probably none of my business, but I think you should be more confident. Right? Especially since the ultimate um, initiative selected you as the ultimate detective. No. No, really. I, I shouldn't be the ultimate detective. I'm not even a real detective. Huh? What do you mean? I'm... I, I didn't even really want to uh, be a detective. My uncle runs a detective business. I would sometimes help out as an apprentice. It was usually just cheating couples, background checks. But... But one day, I came across a murder case, completely by chance. Uh, um... I solved it before the police did. They called me the Boy Detective. That's when I got scouted by the Ultimate Initiative. Though I only solved one case. Huh? Even so, it, it's still amazing that you solved a murder case. Most people can't do that. No. I wonder. I wonder if... Uh, it was really a good thing I solved that case. The look on his face when we caught him. I can still see it even now. He stared at me. Oh god. Like he hated me more than anything else in the world. Makes sense. Later I heard that he murdered the victim to get revenge for his family. What? The victim was abusive. They drove the culprit's relative to suicide. People told me. The culprit was right to do what he did. The victim deserved it. Holy crap. <laughs> but I led the police right to him. Of course he hated me. That's not true. It's not like you took sides. You uncovered the truth. That's what detectives do, right? You're right. Yeah, I uncovered the truth. Which makes it my fault. And I'm still suffering the consequences. I'm... Ever since that one stupid case, I've been so afraid of uncovering the truth. I'll never forget those eyes. The hatred. The way they stared into me. Uh, um... Ah, uh, anyway. Th that's why I have trouble looking people in the eyes sometimes. 
So that's why you wear a stud hat. I'm... I'm not a real detective, Kaido. What kind of stupid detective is afraid of finding the truth? Right then, I noticed. Shuichi's hands were trembling. I gently reached out and held his hand. Oh, Kaede. We have so many sweet moments in this one, in this one chapter. Wow. I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. Hmm, a pretty song to play for you. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. It's a soothing song that calms your heart, like the moon's reflection on water. <laughs> you noticed, huh? Yeah, I'm shaking too. But I'd be a mess if you weren't here. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have been so lost. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. With you by my side, I feel like I can stand up to anything. You give me the courage I need to take on the Mastermind. So please, be more confident. I believe in you, so you should definitely believe in yourself. Okay, I'll try. I don't know if I can, but I'll try. Yep, that's a promise. These two make a perfect team, dude. Nice. After letting go of his hand, I quickly changed the subject. Yeah, that's right. Also, I think you would look way cooler if you didn't wear that hat. Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? What? I'm serious here. Once you're out of here, I want you to show me what you look like without that hat, okay? Jeez, I just want to see everyone smile. You know? I love seeing the expressions people make when they're enjoying themselves. That's why I play piano, to see the smiles on everyone's faces. Mm -hmm. And that's why we need to expose the mastermind and end this dumb killing game. Right? So we can smile with everyone else. After our serious talk, we talked about this and that to kill some time. We did all we could and prepared for whatever happened next. I was nervous, of course. But all we could do was wait for the moment to arrive. As the time limit drew closer and closer. And then, suddenly, the moment arrived. Oh boy. Um... Huh? Wait. Don't tell me. No, 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 no. Like, my initial thought when seeing this was that this could be the, uh... Like, a uh, body discovery announcement, but... Nah, nah, that can't be it. What is this weird music? Is it coming from that monitor? Could it be... Maybe it's a warning that we need to start killing. The time limit is almost up. Yeah, that's probably it. Okay, who? Who? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, man. Uh, they need to stop screwing with us. How much suffering do they want from us? Oh. <laughs> that's way crueler than, like, showing off all, like, the ways you can, like, murder people in this. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, Kaede. I hear people talking in the hallway. Huh? Huh? People talking? Who could be there? I focused my attention on the hallway. I could hear a group of boys and girls talking. Can we make out what they're saying with this playing in the background? <laughs> I tried my best to listen while I peered through the gap of the classroom door. Wait. I saw seven boys and girls head down the stairs. Why? Why is everyone going down there? Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, Himiko, and Rantaro too? Oh, Rantaro. Okay. 
At least we figured out how to pronounce his name finally. <laughs> um. Okay. The seven continue to walk down the stairs. Why? What's a big group like that planning to do? Rontaro was with them too. Didn't he say he would end this game? Yeah, he probably has a plan and like uh, gathered all, all, all of those together. Mm. But what are they planning to do? <laughs> That's the question, yeah? It's almost night time, right? If they're all heading to the basement right now... Could the mastermind be with them too? Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Angel, Himiko, and Rantaro. Huh. One of them is the mastermind? I mean, it's hard to believe, but I mean, the, the most obvious choice would be Rantaro right now. Like, for me anyways, but and we, we don't even know if that's true at all. No. It is unusual for such a big group to all go to the basement. N no. They're not planning on going to the library, are they? That would be bad. It would. It sure would be. They'll they'll scare off the mastermind from using the bookcase and ruin the plan. Huh? What? All right. I'm going to check out the basement. Uh. I'll come with you. Wait, no, 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 no. One of us has to stay here and check the vent. No. No, you stay and keep watch, Kaede. Yeah. With that, Shuichi dash out of the classroom. Wait, do we have the, the thingy? Or did we give it back to Shuichi? Um. Huh? Why am I all alone now? Realizing I was alone, all the fear and anxiety I was trying to hide rushed back into me. Oh, jeez! <laughs> That video is still playing, holy crap. I couldn't keep still, so I grabbed the broom from the corner of the classroom. I started cleaning for no reason at all. I had to move my body, the anxiety was getting to me. Yeah, if you're this nervous, you just like... <laughs> just do anything to distract yourself. Shuichi, please come back already. I was right, wasn't I? Something's gonna happen on there. I continued to distract myself with cleaning until Shuichi finally came back. Okay. What did he see? Hmm. Kaede? Why are you sweeping? Huh? Huh? Oh, oh, no reason. Anyway, what about the people down in the basement? Okay. Everything is okay. They all went to the game room. Oh, okay. The game room? Why there? Ding dong dong ding! Oh. Everyone dies in one hour. <laughs> hmm. Jesus Christ. There's only one hour left until the time limit. Uh. Yeah, it's almost time. That's true. I'm sure that the mastermind will make their move soon. If Monokuma is going to show up when the time runs out, the mastermind will go to the library. Then, it happened so suddenly. Oh. Okay, okay. My heart nearly leapt out of my chest as the receiver in Shuichi's hand suddenly went off. Okay, so he did have it. Uh. Shuichi, the receiver! That's it! Someone moved the bookcase. Hurry, Kaide! Holy crap, okay. Shuichi sprinted out of the classroom with the determination of a true ultimate detective. Uh. Let's go. So, uh, wait for me! So one... One of those kids who went down to the game room actually headed to the library, probably without anyone else noticing? Wait, who was at the very back? Wasn't it Rontaro? No, no, no. 
No, I think it was Himiko. Like at, at the very back of the group. Damn, I, I'd have to look at that picture again. Um, I, I dropped everything I was holding and ran after Shuichi. I could feel my heart beating faster and faster. I was so nervous. My head felt like it was pounding with every heartbeat. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. Okay, we are here. All right. Kaida, let's go inside. Yeah. Yeah. Bracing myself to confront the mastermind, I had balled my hands into fists without realizing it. It'll be fine. Everything will work out. I was still convincing myself when I caught up with Shuichi, who had his hand on a door. Hmm? Huh? Wh what are you guys doing here? Got it. Well, never mind. Your timing's perfect. You should join our strategy meeting. Right! Kaede is definitely welcome to join. Huh? Strategy meeting? Yeah. When the time limit hits, we're gonna fight Monokuma. We got a plan for that battle. We thought it'd be harder for Monokuma to get to the basement, so we're going to the game room. Hey! Hold on, both of you! Come with us, the mastermind is in the library. Uh? Huh? Mastermind? Okay. We'll explain later, but right now we need you to come with us. We might really be able to end this killing game. Are you serious? Sneak attack! I, I don't really understand, but you just need me to... Aikido throw whoever's inside, right? Alright! No, I'll do it! I'll be the one to take them down! Ah, uh, jeez! This isn't a competition. I'm gonna open the door right now, okay? Who's gonna be in there? Is it gonna be one person? With the... With the unveiling of the mastermind so close at hand, all my anxiety had disappeared. I stepped inside the library. Oh, come on. W were we actually too late here? <laughs> come on. As I walked in, I noticed the moving bookcase at the end of the room was slowly closing. But there was no sign of the mastermind. The moving bookcase had closed on its own without any outside help. I mean, ooh, whatever, we still have the cameras, right? Um, where is the mastermind? It probably went inside. We quickly walked toward the moving bookcase. And then, not too far from the moving bookcase, we saw. No. Don't do this. What? No. No, there's no way. How is it Rantaro? Not only was he the most suspicious to me, like, <laughs> out of the group, but uh, the thing is, before, like, honestly, before starting this episode, I was thinking about, like, the future free time events. And I've decided I wanted to, to spend time with Rantoro, just to figure out what's going on with him. Because I've realized this guy has been, like, a mystery to us, like, all this time. And we... <sighs> Come on. Out, out of all the people here, it, it's always the one you, you least expect, right? It's always like that. What happened? Rantaro Amami, who had yet to reveal his ultimate talent to the rest of us, lay dead on the ground. You're joking. Deadly life. Oh, Rantaro? I... I don't want to... I, I don't know what to say. <sighs> what? 
What in the world? What the hell is going on? Uh, uh, uh! Oh my god. <laughs> Why? <sighs> I mean, I had a feeling though, right? There was a reason why it, it showed us this room in this much detail. I mean, something was gonna happen here. But... There was still this part of me who, who didn't want to believe it, right? That because we had this plan, everything set up, everything was gonna go well, and now this. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, the culprit must have been the one who entered the the uh, shelf, right? Or the, the hidden door behind the shelf, anyway. Right after Tenka screamed, the front door of the library burst open, and the four people who were in the game room rushed in. What happened? What happened? Gonta her scream. Uh huh? Ah! Blood! So much blood! Oh me, oh my! Huh? Is that Rantaro? What's wrong with him? You don't know? He's dead. Huh? What? He's dead? Well, that's unfortunate. But how? That's a pretty calm reaction to that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, he's, he was reading my mind. How can you be so calm? Shuichi examined Rantoro's body and placed his hand close to his mouth to check for breathing. It's no use. We're too late. He shook his head. N no way. T too late? You mean dead? Are you serious? H he's dead? My vision began to swirl. My legs wobbled beneath me. But out of sheer desperation, I kept my mind working. Why was Rantaro here? And... The monitor's off. It was no longer displaying Monokuma anymore. Does that mean the mastermind is dead? No. It's probably just like someone was murdered. So there's no need for the broadcast anymore. Like one hour remaining or whatever. Because all that Monokuma wanted was for the killing game to start. Um, yeah. Yeah, that has to be it. This means Rantaro was... No, 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 no. <laughs> Come on, Kaida, you're smarter than this. Well... This means the killing game has started, huh? Huh? What? what? K killing game? Then someone killed Rantaro and... Uh. Wait, maybe not. I don't get it! What do you mean, maybe not? Um... Maybe the killing game hasn't started. Maybe this just ended it. What? Ended it? What do you mean? Because... The mastermind. Rantaro was the mastermind. Huh? What? The mastermind? But... That doesn't make sense, though. Well... Okay, I was assuming that actually someone went into the Monokuma door. If that were the case, it's more likely that that person would be the mastermind. But maybe Kaede is thinking that Rantaro was the mastermind, um, opened the bookcase, dropped dead, question mark, and then the bookcase, like, the shelf closed? What's that logic, though? Uh, um... I don't know how he died, but if Rantaro was in the library before the time limit ended, that's true. There's a high chance that the mastermind planned this. And if he's dead... Th there must have been another person in the library, though. Like, Rantaro didn't commit suicide. 
Huh? Okay, this is gonna be the uh, the um, body announcements. Oh, body discovery announcements. Sorry. A body has been discovered. <sighs> Everyone, please gather in the library. In the library. I'm glad. Oh, right, because the body's here. Duh. No, I was thinking about um, the the meeting for the for the class trial, right? Maybe it was like near the library or whatever. But that 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 can't be the case because he announced that for the first murder, no class trial is gonna be held. So yeah, let's see if that's still true. What a relief. A murder took place just before time ran out. Huh? M Monokuma, but how? I, I told you. It can't be that easy. <laughs> what is that voice line? I gotta admit, I was a little nervous there because the killing game hadn't started yet. Jeez, you guys really know how to keep me in suspense. Uh. How? The mastermind controlling you is... By mastermind? Do you mean the real mastermind who's controlling me? And you think it was Rantaro? Oh, stupid. Ah, what an imagination! Of course, that's wrong! <laughs> if the mastermind had died, this killing game would be over! That's wrong! But. Hey, um... The victim was Rantaro Amami! The ultimate? Who cares? Nothing more, nothing less. <laughs> so, huh? not even Monokuma's gonna reveal it. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh... That's a really condescending way to talk about him though. Like, he just died and he was like, the ultimate who cares? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Shuichi, wh what does he mean? What's going to happen? No. He... Monokuma's wrong, isn't he? Isn't Rantaro the mastermind? Huh? Even he believes that, huh? Yeah, we came here as soon as the sensor went off, right? No one else was in the library. Rantaro was the only one who could have moved the bookcase. Because we didn't see the other person. Wouldn't that mean he was trying to use that hidden door? And that he was their mastermind? But then how did he end up dead? I... Am I missing something here? Is it logical what these two are saying? I just don't get it. No. But if he was the mastermind, why is the killing game not over? Yeah, that that's another point. Uh um why? Why is he dead? <sighs> the entire high school on top left her turned bloody. It's all pink. It's no use. It's no good. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Shuichi? Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh, the pictures! We can check the pictures! Yeah. Still have them. I'm sure that the cameras we set up in the library will give us a clue. Now, okay. I'm gonna be so mad if my thought process turns out to be Taria, but... What if... Like, okay, let's just assume that... No, that wouldn't make sense. But let's just assume that the Mastermind is a killer or, or, or whatever, right? Um, what if they killed Rantoro before opening the, the shelf? <laughs> and what if Rantoro's blood splattered all over, like, the camera? And um, afterwards they, uh, like, entered the hidden room to escape quickly? But now we won't be able to make out who killed him because of the uh, blood covering the lens. Just a thought, but if, if that turns out to be true, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> because I'd be so... Smart, I don't know. For, for the game to do. Because, like, let's be realistic here. It'd be way too easy if you could just, like, check... Um, check the footage of the camera and... Uh, see who did it. Like, that'd be way too simple. Um... I'm sure that the cameras we set up in the library will give us a clue. 
At that moment, the library door swung wide open. Everyone else arrived. Because I've seen Rontor's uh, blood has been splattered a lot, but uh, I didn't... I think some of it was on the camera as well, I can't remember. Rontaro! But why? Really? Uh, that's Rontaro? Oh, thank god! I thought that was a pile of dirty rags! I Wait... <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Excuse me? Wouldn't, wouldn't it make wouldn't it make more sense if that was like the other way around? <laughs> um, I see. So this ended up happening after all. Kikiki, my my, what a world this is! So full of jokes like this. How? What? This is a lie, right? My dearest Rontaro is dead. Oh, I mean. <laughs> was killed. Stop it. That's the same thing. <laughs> huh. How ironic. The guy who wanted to live ended up dead, and the guy who wanted to die survived. Either way. So, can somebody explain the meaning of all this? Hmm? Nah, an explanation isn't necessary. I'm Thanks to the first blood perk, there won't be a class trial, so that'd just be a waste of time. Okay, so... It really was Go true. Ahead. With that said, if you're the blackened who killed Rantaro, raise your hand. What? The one who killed Rantaro? Degenerate male! I knew it! A degenerate male killed Rantaro, didn't he? Wait! How you know, boy, do it! I won't forgive you! I just know, okay? Violent crimes are almost always committed by violent, disgusting men. Damn. Tch. That dumbass. How dare he go and get himself killed? Don't screw around! Who the hell did it? I'll friggin' punch you into orbit! <laughs> Don't get so angry. Send off your graduating classmate with warm farewells. Rise and shine, or sign! Hello there. It's getting interesting. How's the pink one gonna react to this? Or send them off with hostility like a bunch of catty popular girls. That's fine too. It's my time to shine. But if it's gonna disrupt the process, then we're gonna bust out the excisals. How gory! Uh, I'm not gonna look. I don't wanna look at a nasty dead body. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nothing beats crashing a funeral. It's way better than wedding crashing. I'll throw in a wedding every now and then, but funerals are insane. Like fishing with dynamite. So... What the fuck? So whoever did this really gets to graduate, huh? Yeah. Heck yeah. I'm a real stickler for the rules. I'm also tough on convenience store clerks. My heart's racing. Good for you. Then, congratulations! Would the black and who's about to graduate please raise their hand? Is everyone here? I guess so. What? What the? No one's raising their hand? You bastards! Hey, did you hear me? All the black and has to do to graduate is speak up, you know? Huh. Huh? No one's stepping forward. What's going on? I mean, if the black and truly wanted to escape, they would raise their hand, right? Which could only leave one... Like, one other explanation for this is that uh, the black and committed the murder, but also intends to... Uh, still participate in the killing game? <laughs> like, is that what this is? <laughs> like, are, are we just gonna have like a murderer in our ranks now? I... What the fuck? <laughs> the 
<laughs> I see how it is. The Black Ant has no need for the first bug perk. They would rather do a class trial. Wait, huh? Excuse me? Oh. Very well then. Psycho pop! I will give the Black Ant what they want and hold a class trial. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, th like I was like, there's no way we're gonna skip the the trial, right? But I just didn't see how Monokuma would like go back on his word. But this is just what he needed. Oh. Wow. It's getting interesting. Now this is a spicy twist. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, what the heck's going on? Got it. Like we said before, we're gonna hold a class trial, so you bastards can find Rontaro's killer. So... Get it right, and only the Blackened will be punished. But if you get it wrong... <laughs> simultaneous surgery! Brain and knee! Then brain surgery again! My heart's racing! Everyone besides the Blackened will be punished! Uh... Everyone besides the Blackened... Everyone... <sighs> This outcome is much worse. The culprit should have just stepped forward. Thrills, chills, kills! But before we can hold the class trial, you gotta investigate first. If you don't investigate the murder, you won't be able to argue over who did it. Jeez. So you're saying we need to do the investigation ourselves too? Hmm? Of course! The investigation is what makes the killing game so good! You guys are gonna investigate this crime and uncover the truth. <laughs> <laughs> the Blackhand's handiwork has made this much more entertaining than I expected. Alright, the trial will begin soon, so please give the investigation your all. So long, farewell! <laughs> Kokichi is still <laughs> crying right. over there. Oh, never mind. Let's get going then. Wait! Now he's full of energy instead. <laughs> Wait, where do we start? Don't you get it? We're looking for the truth of one tower's death, right? Now we usually start with the Monokuma file. Are we gonna get that? If we can't figure out who the culprit is, then we'll be annihilated for sure. Huh? I, I don't want to be annihilated. The girls should be allowed to live, at least. Uh, uh, I'm just a cute, normal girl who can use magic, you know? Why, you? You're the last person who should be calling herself cute. Ben. I thought she was cute. What do you mean? <laughs> do not fret. Just imagine this is something out of a police drama or detective manga. Do you agree? Right, Shuichi. Uh... Okay. Right. Impossible! I'm in trouble. I've never watched police dramas or read detective manga. Let's see. Oh no. Well, there's no need to think so hard. We need only converse with the corpse. A corpse is not simply a dead person. That is just an assumption made by the living. Wonderful. Yes. By coming face to face with the corpse, you will learn a great many things. Why are you getting excited? You're not into dead bodies, are you? Actually... But is it true? Is one of us really the culprit? Hmm... The odds are 1 in 15. That shouldn't be hard to figure out. Don't screw around! That's not the problem here. On your knees! Who's the fucking culprit, huh? Is it you? Or maybe it's you? Is she just like pointing her finger at like random people right now? Was it you? Or maybe it was you! <laughs> uh... Eeny meeny miny mo... What? <laughs> Who's the killer? Only a two I knows. Weird! You know can choose that way! How exciting! <laughs> Everyone's competing to see who's the most paranoid. Yeah, that's not boring. I mean, we should at least check the cameras for now. That's wrong! To see if we have something. Wait, wait, stop! We can't do this. We can't go back and forth accusing each other. Uh, um... 
For now, we need to trust each other and start a serious investigation. Huh? Hey! If we all lose our trust in one another because of this, it's all over. We have to believe in each other and investigate this case. Huh? Investigating is the same thing as not trusting each other. No. No, it's completely different from what Monokuma wants us to do. He wants us to throw ac accusations at one another and lose all trust in each other. But... And we can't let him get what he wants. We need to investigate this murder, not because we don't trust each other, but because we do. Damn. Hmm. Strong words. Ah, did I say something wrong? <laughs> You're just so direct and assertive. Uh, um... Ah, no, I just said what was on my mind. Yeah. You really are a detective. Now that we need to investigate, you're becoming super reliable. All right. I agree with Shuichi. Actually, he just said exactly what I was going to say. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Males are, are degenerate creatures who betray others easily, but I'll trust you this time. The only good thing about males is that girls give birth to them. Allow Gonta. All right. Gonta not smart. Not sure Gonta be much help. Gonta do his best for everyone. Well, you could be on, um, like, guard duty then. I... I will work hard with Atua's guidance. I'm much happier alive than dead anyway. That's right. As novice investigators, logic dictates that we we work together rather than give in to paranoia. I will do my best. If this is what everyone desires, then I shall give this task my all. Okay. You can leave it to me. I'll find the culprit in no time. Yeah, same, Kaede. <laughs> Phew, I'm glad. No one's given up yet. Yeah, of course they haven't. I can't change what has already happened. All I can do is what must be done. Otherwise, Rontaro died for nothing. I have to do it. I won't give up. We'll all escape from here. I'll make sure of it. Well then. So, let's get started. I guess. We need to do this. So poor Rontaro won't have any regrets. And so we can survive. Okay. Yes, let's find the culprit who killed Rontaro. Yeah. You're right, let's do it. Thank you, Shuichi. So much has happened in such a short time, and I haven't been able to keep up with everything. But I know that I need to fight back against this class trial to protect everyone. Quite the mood I was expecting, but oh, I'm glad. It's okay. At least now you guys seem like you're getting into it. <laughs> you again? The fuck are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be so crude. I've come to bring you all a wonderful present. The file is it? Uh -huh. This is giving me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> what is that face? A notebook that will kill anyone whose name is written in it! Yes! We got the death note, let's go! Uh, Could it be the death... <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> nice reference. I, I love... Oh my god. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. It's a Monokuma file. I guess. <laughs> that was amazing, dude. You did that on purpose, didn't you? Let me explain. The Monokuma file is a detailed report that summarizes all the info about the dead body. But honestly, if you haven't watched Death Note yet, I'd highly encourage you to do that. It's amazing. Just stay away from the from the Netflix movie. <laughs> Don't touch that shit. But there is no info that would point to the blackened, because that would ruin the trials. Let's all get along! I don't know. Maybe you guys will find it useful since you're not experienced investigators, you know? 
It's always a good place to start. <laughs> My Nukuma file? Like hell am I gonna believe something he made? No. Whether you believe it or not, it would still be prudent to examine its contents now. Atua has spoken. He says we shouldn't take our eyes off the monopad. Yeah, I think we should read it. This file has all the info about the victim. I wonder what it says. The victim is Rantaro Amami. It doesn't say what his ultimate talent is. The victim's body was discovered in a library. The estimated time of death is 9.10 p.m. Okay. I'm, I'm still wondering about that murder weapon right there. It's like a crystal ball of some sort. I don't remember having seen that object before. Hmm. The victim was subjected to blunt force trauma to the back of the skull. Resulting in cranial fractures and immediate death. No other injuries were detected. Question is, what was he doing in the library in the first place, right? Monokuma file 1 has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. It doesn't say whether or not he's the mastermind. Well, <laughs> that's obvious. But the killing game is still going on, so I'm gonna assume he wasn't, right? What if there are like multiple? <laughs> nah. But if Rantaro wasn't the mastermind, then who is? Actually. I know it's a little late, but seeing this makes it real. Rantaro is really dead. And just when I finally figured out how to pronounce his name correctly, too. That's right. This is the mastermind's fault. No doubt about it. The mastermind killed Rantaro. Yeah, that was my first thought, but... Then again, it doesn't make sense because... If we solve this case, we would just know who the mastermind is. And it'd all be over. Well, not necessarily, but... That's... Mastermind? I'm sorry, what are we talking about? Please. Kaede, please explain what is going on and spare us no detail. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Shuichi and I explained to everyone. We told them about the possibility of the Mastermind hiding among us. Among us. And about the trap we had set in the library to lure them out. And that someone got snagged in our trap, so we came to the library to check and discovered Rantara's body. <laughs> I don't know, that's pretty sus. <laughs> Understood. I see, so that is what happened. I was not aware you two had planned such a thing. Yeah. So you used those cameras I modified for this bullshit? But you know... But why would you keep something so important a secret from us? <laughs> they didn't want to like cast suspicion on everyone, or like make everyone suspicious of one another. But, uh, once we knew one of us was the mastermind, we'd start fighting over who it was. Uh, that exactly. That's what you two were afraid of, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. But. But if there are cameras, won't this case be solved really easily? Uh, well, let's check. Oh man, that's so boring. And he, then he goes ahead and just smashes the camera into pieces so it's, not, so it's more exciting. Wait! <laughs> just imagine if he did that. Your amusement is the least of our concerns. We need to check the cameras right now. <sighs> the culprit should be in the pictures. It'll be case closed. Then... Alright, let me go get the cameras. 
Alright, what's gonna happen? Shuichi quickly retrieved all three cameras and rushed back to everyone. Is that alright? Okay, I've got them. So, uh, my guess is that we won't have the footage of the one that was pointing towards the shelf. But I feel like the other two should have been fine. So, we should still have like pictures of everyone who entered the library. Right? Well. It was hard removing the camera that Kaida set up. She really taped it down well. Well, that's good. Better be because... safe than sorry. Well, I really didn't want that camera to fall, since it was aimed at the moving bookcase. Remember. Oh no, maybe I was wrong. Okay. They all look clean. Here. It's these three cameras. Uh, um... Now, we just have to develop the film. I will do it. Allow me to perform that task. That's amazing! Wow! Is there anything the ultimate mate can't do? Leave it to me! I heard everything you said. If that's what you need, just leave it to me. I... I no. <laughs> Let's not. Huh? <laughs> huh? I'll do it! I'll develop the photos so you bastards can focus on the investigation. Well, is she, tr is she truly intending to help us out here? Cass, if you guys get punished, you'll be way too gory. Stop it. Hey, don't butt into our... But she ignored my objection, walked up to Shuichi, and took the cameras from him. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, how, how can... She... How even? Shuichi... <laughs> What the heck? <laughs> I am a strong, sensual woman. Do not underestimate me. How oh, did you pull that off? <laughs> uh, hey, give those back. Leave it to me. No need to worry. We all have to follow the rules. We won't do anything underhanded or devious. So, I'll let you know when I'm finished developing the photos. Okay. <laughs> Wait, give the cameras back. Well, since she's like working with Monokuma, I don't think she'll like manipulate anything. <laughs> um, but wait, actually, like if the killer was on the on the photos, then maybe they just wouldn't give us that specific uh, image, and then like showed to us after like the class trial is over and was like haha I had the photo all along um and on second thought I don't think it's a good idea that she she's the one who's um helping us out with that okay nothing we can do about it now though wait give the cameras back it was pointless to yell at her Monofani left as swiftly as the wind oh my Aw, there she goes. Uh, no, that was important evidence. Sorry. I'm sorry. I was being careless. Um, yeah, I'm really careless. <laughs> it's probably okay. She says she developed photos, then give photos back. That's right. And she said she had to follow the rules, so I don't think she would destroy evidence. Yeah, not destroy per se, but like, hide. Sheesh. Because, yeah, to make the case... To even have a mystery surrounding this case, because if you just had all the photos, I guess it would be, like, easily solved then. Yeah, my, my assumption was that, like, one of the cameras was, like, covered by uh, Rontaro's blood, and that would make it, like, hard to figure out who actually did it. But, I mean, this works as well. Looks like we've got no choice but to believe that. Cause Atua is watching over us. It's important to believe. Atua only shows mercy to those who believe. Uh, um... Kaede, I know you're worried, but you can trust me. We just have to be patient. No. That's not all I'm worried about. I thought this whole thing would be over once we exposed the mastermind. <sighs> but now, we're just in a bigger mess. A mess we have to see through to the end. Hey! Ah, uh, Kaede, 
I have a proposal for you. Is that alright? If it's alright with you, could we keep working together during the trial? Like we're doing now. Huh? Shuichi? I'm... I know I'm just an apprentice, but I think I can help you as a detective. No, I... I want to help you. Shuichi? Of course. With you at my side, it'll be like having a hundred people helping me. Thank you. Thank you, Kaede. Um... Hey, so I don't care about this mushy stuff, so let's just get started already. And try to take this seriously, okay? Our lives are on the line. Actually... It takes a lot of mental power to say something like that so cheerfully. <laughs> what do you think? Before we start, I'd like to suggest that we not investigate by ourselves. Why? Huh? Why? In other words... If we let the culprit work by themselves, they might try and destroy evidence, right? Huh? Oh, you're right. Since the culprit is one of us... <laughs> if each of us watches the other, no one will be able to hide any evidence. My apologies. I do not intend to offer a suggestion that would further arouse suspicion, but... Logical. No, that's logical. Please, speak your mind, Kirumi. That's right. It's not something you should be proud to say, but I guess we don't have a choice. After all, if we don't find out who the culprit is, we'll all be killed. Yeah, we have to do it. Once we expose the mastermind, we'll be able to escape. We can definitely do it. Let's go. All right. <laughs> I was really hyped for the investigation music as well. All right. Well, let's see. Where do we start? Where do we start? Um. So, I don't think the vent was related to this um, at all, right? But then again, like, I'm still in the mindset that whoever killed Rontaro um, went inside here, right? But then afterwards, they met, they met up with everyone in the library without exiting through this um, moving bookcase. So either they never went inside, and that was just my misunderstanding. Or there's like um, an exit from that place we just don't know about. Um. Let's say they didn't escape uh, through this bookcase, then they had to go out through the vent. And that would work because me and Shuichi were both down here. So if someone actually crawled out from the vent in the classroom, no one would have been there to notice that. But yeah, I'm sure those things will become much more clearer when we start investigating. So let's start talking to people, see what they have to say. I don't know who killed Rantaro, but it's Monokuma's fault it happened. Because he pressured us this happened. That motive he gave us is part of it. And so is that strange music. Yeah. That's terrible. He played that music at such a high volume to make us feel sick and want to kill. Uh, okay. It was awful. I thought I'd go crazy. I can't believe it. I bet someone felt pressured by that and killed Rontaro. It's all Monokuma's fault. Well, yeah, this much is obvious. Yeah, if Monokuma hadn't done anything, I mean, not, none of this would have happened, honestly. Um. So, yeah. Anyway, we have to stop the mastermind, so this is the last murder that ever happens here. We just have to. Emotional video BGM. Okay. So that's actually true bullet. Interesting. Trashy skank! Don't talk to me, crotch itch! 
I'm fucking busy. What are you doing? Me continued ignoring us while she fiddled with the controller. Huh? What's that controller for? Ah. Dun dun da da. It's a prone. Um. Prone? Um. I don't mean to butt in on the conversation, but don't you mean drone? Actually. If there was a prone, it team up with the rest of the ganglion alliance to destroy humanity. Ganglion or ganglion? I, what? <laughs> I have no idea what she's talking about. Same. Also, this track is is a banger. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Wait a second. The controller is. <laughs> now you're getting it, dick cheese. <laughs> dick cheese. <laughs> what even is that insult? <laughs> That's the first time I've heard that. <laughs> those two words combined. <laughs> she laughed obnoxiously and pointed her finger upward. Ha! Feast your eyes on the latest creation from the gorgeous girl genius, Mila Ruma. Okay. It's a drone. A drone. I told you that's a drone. If it was a drone, it'd be leading a pack of vicious monsters. I don't get it. Say, <laughs> when did you have time to make this? I got bored after I made those cameras you asked for, so I modified this RC plane. Oh, okay. I even decked it out with a camera so it'll take perfect aerial photographs. From there, I'll use the photos as a reference to draft a floor plan to help the investigation. Oh, okay. Nice. This way, I get out of having to do any actual investigative legwork. <laughs> I, I like I like this character more and more as <laughs> further as we progress into the story. Drafting a floor plan with photos? Hmm. That's amazing. I'm sure this will help with the investigation. Yeah, we had something similar done for the first investigation of the second game. Where Mahiro took the photos and then sketched out like the layout of the um the room the party was held in. Out of my way! The only problem is I'm not used to operating a drone and uh, and taking pictures with it. Jeez. You shouldn't be proud of that. And if you don't hurry, the investigation will end soon. Bitch! I can't do shit about that. So just calm your tiny tits and shut up. Jeez. Oh, shut up, you. My chest is way better than your nasty cow udders. <laughs> Let's go, Kaede. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What did I do? Uh, others? Uh, others? <laughs> actually... You're a bit wimpy when someone stands up to you, huh? You're actually a complete wuss! <laughs> oh my god, they're not just floating up there. <laughs> nice. Oh, this game, man. <laughs> um... Hey, Kaede, do you remember what we saw when we came in here? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Um... We saw the moving bookcase close on its own, right? Hmm. No one even touched it. So, how did that happen? Hmm. Actually, it has to do with how the bookcase works. Shuichi moved the bookcase to reveal the hidden door. Is that alright? Take a look at this. If I let go of the bookcase... He let go of the bookcase, and after waiting for a bit... It closes. Okay. So that's what we saw. <gasps> Oh, it closed on its own. Hmm. The bookcase is set up like an automatic door. It closes after a period of time. It makes perfect sense when you think about it. Okay. So my assumption that someone went in, in there was wrong, I guess. Was it? Like... 
the culprit would have had enough time to escape to the vent um, while the, the shelf was like open still and then we came in and what we saw was was it closing after after a while right so and yeah the culprit was like already gone at that point it makes perfect sense when you think about it if it didn't close on its own you wouldn't be able to put the bookcase back after you went inside also true yeah I see I see the bookcase has to close on its own once you go through the hidden door wait so now I'm not sure again <laughs> I feel like I'm making like assumptions too quickly here. Let's just Yeah, keep investigating for now. Moving bookcase. Alright. Um Oh <laughs> that zoom. But wait, if the bookcase closes itself after you enter the hidden door. Uh. Oh, maybe the reason why the bookcase closed itself is that someone entered the hidden door. Yeah, was because the mastermind was hiding just past the hidden door. But then again, we don't know if they could have exited there from there. Maybe. Oh, this is confusing already. You're right. After killing Ran Taro, they ran through the hidden door. It certainly is possible. So yeah, so they either went through the hidden door or. <gasps> Or they made it look like they did, and actually went through the vent. Ah, oh, <laughs> let's check that now. Huh? Huh? How do we check it? Remember. The dust on the card reader, remember? Shuichi moved the bookcase again to reveal the hidden door once more. Then... Alright, let's see. We leaned in to get a closer look at the gap of the card reader. Yeah, we leaned in by a lot. Huh? Huh? The dust is still there. You're right. It looks like the card reader wasn't used. That means the mastermind didn't hide here. Hmm. What if the mastermind replaced the dust after they used the card reader? That is a possibility, sadly. No. Oh, no, I remember exactly what... <laughs> I, I put it exactly here, I remember. <laughs> no, I remember exactly where I put the dust. This hasn't been moved at all. Alright! <laughs> okay. I think it's safe to assume the mastermind did not go through the storm. Then it has to be the vents. Um. Then the one who moved the moving bookcase at the time was... From Taro himself? But... No. No. I can't say for sure. We'll know more when we get the pictures back. This, or is it... There's a chance that someone else was hiding here. Audrey the Dust. Well, I still think the mastermind is the culprit. Um... So we just need to find the clues that can connect us to the mastermind. We'll end the killing game that way too. <sighs> oh, okay. And it closed again. Um. Okay. Oop. I feel like I'm missing something. I should investigate a little more. I pressed the wrong button there. I meant to press F1. Um, I'm just gonna go do a quick save. Uh, real quick. Alright, and I'm, I'm just gonna do like a quick pause in the recording. Um, just so the video doesn't get too long, because I intend to finish the entire investigation in this part. Um, so yeah, let me just do that. I'll see you in a second. Alright, let's keep going. Uh, so let's talk to Kurumi. But... Why did the culprit not step forward and take advantage of the first blood perk? Huh? What? Then. 
The culprit must have killed to survive, so it is odd that they would not step forward. It is! Like, yeah. Maybe they just feel like they've committed the perfect crime and are now trying to, like, kill off the rest of us? Or it can't be that, like, Rantaro died, like, by accident, right? He must have been murdered. It's like a crystal ball. Like, what, what if it fell from, like, somewhere above, like... <laughs> the top of the bookshelf or something and killed him and then of course no one would be able to step forward because no one committed the crime but I, I don't think that's it that's weird that no one did step forward hmm. true I wonder what that means that's true I can think of several possibilities but the worst case scenario is the culprit's objective wasn't to survive it was to kill everyone here. Yeah, that was one of my thoughts. Huh? Everyone? That is correct. That would explain why they would forego their survival in favor of a class trial. Um. But doesn't that seem like a bit of a stretch to you? Do you agree? Well, if the culprit is also the mastermind, then it's certainly possible. Yeah. Uh, plausible. Well, true. Killing us all does seem like something the Mastermind would do. So, we cannot lose this fight. Even on this uncharted path, we must find our way. Okay. Can we check the bookcase itself again? I mean, we, we did that already, but the moving bookcase is closed right now. So, hi the hidden door is currently out of sight. By the way. You guys set up a security uh, sensor on top of this bookcase, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, it should still be there. Let me check. Shuichi climbed up the ladder and looked on top of the moving bookcase. Remember, it's still here. I should take it down now. Oh. Removing it is fine, but won't your receiver go off when you move it? No. No, it's all right. I turned the receiver off. Mm -hmm. Huh? You can turn it off? Okay. Yes, I made sure to switch it off on the way down here. I thought the mastermind could still be inside and I didn't want to alert them. I see. I see, smart thinking. Well, what does that mean? <laughs> I mean, the receiver did go off. That's why we went down here initially. What if the what if this bookcase opened twice? I I don't see how that would relate uh, relate to the case right now. But I think that could have happened because um. Uh, it closed down. And Trichi turned off the thing, and we we would never know if it actually uh, if the bookcase was like open the second time. But then again, how is this helpful right now? <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, I didn't see you over here. <laughs> yeah, you were in the room, but I couldn't spot you at first. Well, if you're the ultimate detective, then you've got your eyes on the culprit, right? Huh? I can see right now I have no idea who it could have been. What? I'll leave it to you. Tell me who you think the culprit is. I don't mind if it's just an educated guess. Uh. Oh, I wanna know too. Sorry. Ah no, I'm sorry. I can't say anything yet. Not cool. Yeah, <laughs> not cool. We need way more evidence. But there's someone you're a little bit suspicious of, right? No, there's gotta be. Huh? Ah. Jeez. But you're afraid of that. You're afraid of suspecting someone, aren't you? That's how it looks to me. But, but with things the way they are, 
wouldn't be better for you to suspect others more. <laughs> and let me just warn you. The way the world works and that those who speak win, the truth can easily be twisted. In order to fix the twisted truth, you need something even more powerful. Huh? What do you mean? Be careful. I mean that testimonies without evidence are powerless. Be careful! Right! Wait a second. Because yeah, in the previous games we were able to collect um, like people's accounts of what they said and stuff, right? But this, I gu I'm guessing this game adds the possibility that what the people are saying is, is just a lie. <laughs> But we still would receive them as like truth bullets, right? So it'll be hard to tell. <laughs> Dude, that's insane. Hold well on. <laughs> um, okay, I think, yeah, we talked to everyone. Uh, can we check out the vents? The moving ladder is to reorganize the books on top of the bookcase. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Oh really? Okay. It was up there, wasn't it? We can check this out as well. Tons of books are crammed into the bookcase and arranged in various stacks on top. Hmm. Doesn't seem as if anything has changed since we set up the cameras. Remember. The books that you stacked up haven't moved. Yeah. Oh, you mean the ones I stacked to keep people from going to the vents? Yeah, those have been left alone. Oh yeah, it, right there it is, there's the vent. So it, it wasn't covered up by the books. It just, if you try to make your escape through it, you would leave behind the mess, right? Um, and it's, yeah, just so it's harder to actually access it. Dude, I'm drawing a blank here. I, uh, should I be able to already have like a suspicious person in mind? Because I don't. <laughs> Stacked books has been added. Okay. The globe! It's a mysterious globe, but I don't think it has anything to do with this incident. Alright. Also worth checking. Oh yeah, right here. The vent is open. I was the one who took off the grate and left it in the dark. Hmm. Why didn't we put it back on though? <laughs> and we were keeping watch in the classroom this vent leads to. I don't think the culprit came in or out to there. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Is it? <laughs> because we went downstairs, so we wouldn't be able to see if someone used this as an escape route. But then again, the, the books are in the same place. Everything seems to appears to be. Um, but okay, I think that was the last troop bullet I was missing. This is the rear door. It's the furthest door from the stairs and at least to the hallway. Uh. Uh, by the way, this is a sliding door, see? It opens when you slide it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I saw that. Mm -hmm. Do you think Rantaro entered through this door? Uh, um... I can't say for sure until we get those pictures back from the monocups. Mm. You're right, we'll just have to wait. Yeah, that, that'll be our most important evidence. <laughs> um, right, yeah, I think that's it, right? Oh no, I'm missing something, wow. Oh, let's see. Alright, I haven't checked out all of the book uh, shelves. This one, of course, this, this one has blood on it, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I don't need to tell you this, but shouldn't we investigate Rantara's body? 
Uh, um... That as well. Yes, if we want to find clues, we have to. Huh? <laughs> but if it's too much for you, Kaida, you don't have to, okay? No. No, it's fine, I can do it. My mind was set, and I started to walk toward Rontaro's body. Yeah, just, just, just forgetting about like the most important part of this room that we have to investigate. Nice. That's a good start. <laughs> the last time I saw Rontaro, he was alive and well. Yeah, we saw him go downstairs with the others. Why did Rontaro die here? Huh? What do you mean, die here? Remember. I mean, if Rontaro was the one who moved the bookcase, that would mean he came all the way over here after the bookcase opened. He moved away from the hidden door to this spot. Why would he do that? And there's no trace of his body being moved. It doesn't add up. Hmm. Are you okay? Ah, are you okay? You've gone pale. Although I guess that's normal. We have to investigate a body after all. The body of someone who was alive and talking to us just a little while ago. No. It's it's okay, really. We just have to do our best. Not just for Rantaro's sake, but also so we can avenge him. And so we can protect everyone else. We have to defeat the mastermind who's orchestrating this whole thing. Hey! Um, Kaede, I'll help you in any way I can. I'll support you for this investigation. I'm sort of a detective after all. Jeez. Sort of? You are a detective, remember? Uh, okay. Oh, right. Well, he seems a little more confident at least. Okay. Oh, it's a shot put ball from the warehouse. That's what this was. And we know that the ultimate inventor went in there to get the remote controlled her uh, helicopter. A bloody shot put ball is on the ground. Could it be? This shot put ball? Could it be? Yeah. Yeah, it definitely came from the warehouse on the first floor. Hmm. There's blood all over it. Hmm. That's a murder weapon, right? I don't see anything else that could have been used. You're right. Yeah, it has to be. The shot itself is heavy. It would have to be fairly strong to use it as a weapon. Fairly strong, huh? Oh, <laughs> bloody, a bloody shot put ball has been added as well. Okay, I'm gonna check out the, the body. Um, I know we need to examine his body, but I'm not sure where to start. Leave it to me. It's okay, I can do it. Shuichi showed no hesitation as he began to examine Rantora's body. Hmm. There's blood on the back of his head. It looks like a pretty deep wound. It's consistent with blunt force trauma. I don't see any other injuries. The Monokuma file is accurate. This must be the fatal wound. Um. So we can trust the Monokuma file? Uh, okay. Yes, for now. Shuichi then stuck his hand into Rontoro's pocket. Huh? Wait, what are you doing? Investigating. Uh, um. I'm checking what he has on this person. There might be a clue. If we're going to do this, we have to be thorough. I told you I would support you after all. H how can you say that with so much confidence? Come on, Kaede. Pull yourself together. Rontaro had in his possession the key to his room and the student handbook monopad. The monopad is definitely his. And it's exactly the same model as ours. Um. He didn't have a card key on him? Could it be? That's what I was thinking, but he didn't have it. Uh. 
Then again, the culprit could have removed that as well. There's just so much that the culprit could have done to mess with the crime scene before we actually went here. Then Rontaro really wasn't the mastermind. Hmm. If he was the mastermind, he wouldn't have come here without the card key. So, with what we know now, that is the most likely possibility. Why was Rontaro here if he wasn't the mastermind? Maybe he found out that this hidden door existed and wanted to confront the mastermind all by himself. <laughs> and got killed in the process. Rontaro's belongings. Okay, so only his room key and his monopad. Are you okay? Kaede, are you okay? We've finished investigating the body. Let's get out of here for now, okay? Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Hmm. Something is bothering me. Why did Rontaro come to the library? It seems likely that he's not the mastermind. What reason did he have for coming here? Uh. I'm guessing it had something to do with what Rontaro mentioned earlier. <laughs> it's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game. It's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. Hmm. Ending the game itself. So he also must have planned to stop the mastermind. That's how you put an end to the scam. Could it be? Then it's possible he noticed the hidden door in the library, just like we did. Yeah. As I was saying. Huh? What? Uh. Um. He might have come to the same conclusion we did, that the mastermind would come here. Um. Mm -hmm. You mean he had the same idea as us? No way! He should have told us! I mean, we didn't tell anyone! Come on! Uh, we could have worked together. I collapsed to the floor, crushed by the weight of my frustration. No. No, he probably couldn't risk telling us. Like you said, he was suspicious of everyone. I have you, Kaede. But Rantaro didn't have anyone he could trust. Hmm. That might have been... The only difference between me and him. Oh, damn it, we should have talked to him. <laughs> but I mean, I don't think that would have made a difference. Like, even if we used all of our free time events to spend time with Wantaro, I don't believe it would, uh, yeah, it, it would have made a difference. As he said that, he offered me a hand. I took his hand and he firmly pulled me to my feet. Remember! Kaide, let's go. We can't waste time now. You're not going to give up, right? You're going to save everyone. Yeah. Shuichi. He's right. I can't give up now. Shuichi. Thanks. I feel like... I can't rely on you even more. Huh? Shuichi is right. We can't give up until it's over. I can't stay depressed forever. I have to help everyone get out of here. We have to continue the investigation. We gotta find the mastermind. Alright. And I'm still missing something. Oh. <laughs> I, I thought I clicked on that. Was there anything else here? We checked the body, we checked the murder weapon. Ha! Huh. Still something else I'm missing. I'm doing a really bad job at this, <laughs> in the, at this first investigation. Could it be the monitor? I mean... 
I mean, this monitor should have also had the had this video playing, right? The time limit to start the killing game had almost expired. But then the countdown stopped, and that obnoxious noise went away too. I wonder what would have happened if the time limit had expired. Yeah, let's not think about that. It would not have been pretty, whatever it was. I guess we should also check out this door. It's a front door that leads directly to the basement stairs. We went through the store before we discovered Drontaro's body. Hmm. We entered the library through here with Kaito and Tenko. Yeah. Yeah, we saw the moving bookcase close, and then we ran over. That's true. We found Rontoro's body behind that bookcase. Hmm. I wonder if Rontaro entered through the same door as we did. Maybe the mastermind did too. That's... When we see the pictures after the monocups developed them, that will be clear, yeah. Aww. So we don't have to think too hard about this for now. I guess all we can do is wait. Um... Kaede, I think we've investigated the entire library now. Okay. Um... But we still don't know anything yet. I feel like we didn't get any closer to the mastermind. You're right. The most important piece of evidence will be those photos. Once we get those. But then again, we can't just say that and do nothing. Let's keep investigating what we can. Yeah, I'd like to go back to the classroom as well. Hmm. Keep investigating? That's true. Yes, I think we should collect alibis. Uh-huh. And confront like all the people who came down here to see what they were doing. Was Kokichi one of them? Oh, I hope not. <laughs> we need to verify where everyone was during the time frame when Rantaro was killed. I see. If that's the case, then who should we question? Well, mm -hmm. that's obvious. <laughs> The six people that went down to the basement with Rontaro. Okay, so it was Rontaro, uh, Himiko, the Atua girl, the Aikido girl, ultimate child caregiver, Gonta, and the uh, astronaut guy. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> the other names. Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, and Himiko. I really need to start remembering these. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, and as you can see here, Himiko and Rontaro were like the very back. But I, I don't think that's important right now. Let's talk to them first. Yeah. Hmm. They should have been in the game room, along with Rontaro. Let's ask them about what happened there. Yeah. Okay, let's go find them. For now, let's head to the game room. Right. Okay. Oh boy. I feel like I'm gonna do an awful job at the... Um, at the trial <laughs> with how things are going. So I never checked this door, but it like it shouldn't open, right? Because this is the door that was like stuck or whatever. Yeah, this door barely opens a crack. Okay. So this is the only entrance to the game room. Maki is here. Hell yeah, worth it. Um. Maki, you were in the game room when Rontaro was killed, right? Hey! What were you all doing down here? Rontaro was with you, right? Hey. Am I a suspect? That <laughs> looked. <dude. laughs> oh no, th that's not what I meant. Hmm. You should suspect me. In fact, 
You should be suspicious of everyone. Huh? Because someone got killed right after we all gathered here. The timing is too perfect. Then again, with the time limit so close to expiring, maybe that's why it happened. You don't know? So trust no one, Kaide, or you lose. Got it? I can't get a read on Maki at all. She just saw a dead body, yet she's perfectly calm. It's hard to imagine her as the ultimate child caregiver. But... But why were you all here in the first place? <sighs> it was Kaido's idea. He suddenly wanted to hold a strategy meeting and gathered us together. Yeah, they wanted to fight uh, against the masterminds. He said we should confront Monokuma once the time limit, uh, limit expires. I don't understand. And he picked the seven people he thought would be useful in a fight. Seven people Kaito, Gonza, Maki, Tenko, Himiko, Angie, and Rantaro. Hmm. But, um, I'm not sure those seven would all be useful in a fight, though. I see. Kaito thought Himiko's magic and Angie's connection to her too would be useful. Huh? But what about you, Maki? Why did he also pick the ultimate child caregiver? This is stupid. He just looked at me and said, Yeah, you probably know how to fight. <laughs> okay. That's it? Jeez, that does sound like something Kaito would do though. But... Why have a strategy meeting in the game room in the basement? I don't know. Beats me. Maybe Kaido figured it would be harder for Monokuma to find us here. In other words, it was just a coincidence? Uh, um... And what was Rantoro doing at the time? Was he in the strategy meeting with you? That's true. He was, at first. But then he excused himself to go to the bathroom and left on his own. Kaito and Tenko went looking for him, so we could finish the meeting before time expired. That must have happened around... We met you though, yeah. Huh? What are you guys doing here? Well, never mind. Your timing's perfect. You should join our strategy meeting. Kaito is definitely welcome to join. Um. Then the four of you just wait in the game room in the, uh, the whole time? No. Nope. Angie, Himiko and I were the only ones who stayed behind. Gonta never joined us. Huh? huh? Gonta wasn't with you guys? <sighs> Gonta did arrive, but then he left and locked himself in the AV room in the back. Wait, he locked? Why? Hmm. He was in the AV room by himself? You. Suspicious behavior, isn't it? The other two felt the same way. Um. What other two? Like I'd know. Why don't you go to the AV room? They're probably still there. Okay. Well, let's see if someone else can confirm this. Everyone is here, okay. Wait! Wait! Gonta not murder anyone! Come on, man! I told you! We're not saying you did! We just want to talk! No. No, it's him, alright? He's got the face of a killer. No way! No judge Gonta by his outside. On inside, Gonta gentleman. Hey! I also can't believe that, dude. Gonta's just... Like, too kind-hearted. Hey, what's going on here? Ah. Oh, hey there, Kaede. We're just trying to ask him. <sighs> just tell us while we're still asking nicely. Are you or are you not the culprit? Yeah. Or are you not not the culprit? Are you not 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 the culprit? Huh? <laughs> Gonta not not not... Uh, uh. <laughs> It's just been this over and over. We can't move forward at all. Um. I think your questions are the problem. <laughs> yeah. hmm. Then I'll change the question. 
Timmy buys five strawberries for 50 cents each and one apple. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> A math equation, let's go. That's totally off topic, Himiko. Do your own math homework. You know? Oh my god. Hey, Gonta. I talked to Maki earlier. You're in the basement AV room alone the whole time, right? Hmm. But what were you doing here alone? Um. Gonta happy to have been invited to a meeting, but Gonta think he not be much help, cause he not smart. Bugs are. <laughs> so Gonta in here alone, watching bug movie. <laughs> are you kidding me? What is this investigation? <laughs> Someone was murdered and Gonta was just watching a movie about bugs. Huh? Um, what? How does that help? Honest! Bug movie fill Gonta with fight! Make Gonta ready to fight Monokuma! I see. So it helps you fight? Okay, sure. You do you, Gonta. But you know. But why was it locked? Maybe didn't think anyone else would enjoy the movie. <laughs> huh? What was locked? With my magic. If you don't answer honestly, I'll change you into a girl with my magic. Huh? <gasps> what the? <laughs> that sound and that face. <laughs> Anything but that. <laughs> huh? Gonta no can become girl Gonta. Then Gonta never become gentleman. Jeez. <laughs> this is too silly. <laughs> Himiko, can you just shut up for a second? You're making this harder than it needs to be. Is that alright? Gonta, can you tell us what happened next? Gonta... Gonta, just need focus. If Gonta no focus, Gonta no can fill up with fight. Honest! That it, really. Gonta just wanna protect everyone. <sighs> but you guys not gonna believe Gonta, huh? Cause Gonta's so big and scary looking, huh? Wow! Calm down, you're making a really scary face! How can this be? Cause Gonta feels so useless! Huh. After hearing his story, I can see why people would suspect him, you know. But I wonder what really happened. Could he actually be the mastermind? That's true. Kaede. Let's investigate this room a little more. We also need to verify Gonta's abil uh, alibi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Oh, let's start talking to everyone as usual. Damn. Jeez, I can't believe that happened right next door to our strategy meeting. Hey. Kaito, can you tell me more about the strategy meeting of yours? You gathered everyone to meet in the basement, right? Huh? What, am I one of your sp uh, suspects now? Um... No, um, that's not what I'm... Nah. Nah, it's natural that you're suspicious of me. Of course! But I'm not the culprit! I swear it on the universe! Got it! I've got nothing to hide, so you can ask me anything! Yeah. Yeah, okay. Then... Well, now that we have the chance, let's look back at the entire incident together. Kaito went to the scene with us, so he might have noticed something we missed. Got it. Alright then, where should we start? Hmm. After Kaito and I set up the cameras, we were keeping watch from the classroom. Some time passed, and then we saw you guys go down to the basement. Hey! When did you start asking people to go with you? So... I don't remember the exact time, but I asked them one by one and we all went there together. Okay. That's when we saw you. You, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, Himiko and Rantaro. You know... Now that I think about it, the monitor started going off just before that. That creepy music made it hard to keep the strategy meeting going. Um... I want to confirm what you've told me so far. Everyone went to the game room for this meeting and no one went to the library, right? Ah... Yeah, we went straight to the game room. 
but right after we went inside, Gonta went into the AV room and wouldn't come out. Yeah. Yeah, Maki told me about that. So... After that, during the meeting, Rantaro left to go to the bathroom. But we thought it'd be bad if the meeting stopped, so me and Tenko went to get him back. And that's when we met up with you guys. Okay. We had gone down to the basement because the security sensor receiver went off. Yeah. And right when I was about to open the library door, you guys called out to us. So after you and Tenko left the game room, Himiko and Maki were still there, right? Got it. Yeah, I can guarantee it. But you know... However, I can't guarantee that Gonta was in, the, in here the whole time. I see. I see, so we can't confirm Gonta alibi, uh, Gonta's alibi yet. Hey! The library's rare entrance is at the end of the hallway, correct? Did you see anyone there? That's right. Well, I didn't get a good look, but I'm sure I would have noticed if someone was there. Jeez. Then I opened the door to the library with you guys, and found Rantaro's dead body. That's just about how it went. Mm. Oh, we didn't learn any new information though. Come on, man. So I'm not cleared of suspicion yet, huh? No. Ah, don't worry, you're not a likely suspect. Dumbass. Hey, that's not something a, detect a detective should say. Huh? What? Listen up. If you suspect me, you better pursue it to the end. Investigate until you're satisfied. If you don't do that, you'll never reach the truth. Rantaro will have died for no reason. Got it. This is where you need to let your ultimate talent shine. Shuichi. Yeah. Anyway, if you notice something or remember anything, let us know. Of course. Well, I'm not planning on leaving it all to you guys. I'll investigate my own way. All right. So right now they're making it really seem like Gonta's like the most suspicious out of all of us, right? And like, uh, I don't think it's um. But a few other uh, things are also pointing towards him being the suspect because there's this door, right? Which we couldn't really do anything with. And I remember when I investigated this room, I made a joke about like, couldn't we just get Gonta down here? You'd be able to uh, like open the door, no problem, right? Because if you exit through this door, you'd be right at the rear entrance to the library. And you also said that the culprit who murdered Rontaro with the shot put ball would have to be like really strong. And that description would fit to Gaunter perfectly. But I mean, then again, there he's not the only strong dude out of all of the people here. So it's probably gonna try and make us think that Gonta's a suspect, but yeah, honestly, I I don't know. Like, right now, I'm not suspecting him, but that could change later. Let's just collect more evidence for now after getting some coins. Let's go. Okay. The culprit is definitely Gonta. He's suspicious no matter how you look at it. No. Now it's still too early to determine that. There are a lot of things to consider. Yeah. Really? Even so, it's definitely Gonta. He's suspicious no matter how you look at it. I'm just gonna repeat yourself. Hmm. Um, no. Why don't you help investigate before you decide that, Himiko? What a pain. Investigating is a pain. Gonta suspicious, no matter how you look at it. Got it? Like I said, you need to investigate before you decide that. Hell, use your magic for all I, ca for all I care. It's impossible. Magic shouldn't be used like that. It'll lead to corruption. Jeez. 
then stop being so lazy and put some actual effort into solving this. Yeah. Remember, Kaede, let's investigate this room a little more. We also need to verify Gonta's alibi. Let's do that. Gonta! Gonta watching bug movie to fill Gonta with fight so Gonta can fight Monokuma. But Gonta need focus to fill up with fight so Gonta lock door. That sounds like a lie. If you don't tell the truth, I'll blow your clothes out with my magic. Huh? Uh, if Gonta naked in public, then Gonta never become gentleman. Ah, uh, jeez. Himiko, shut up. Stop saying ridiculous things. Honest. Gonta just want to protect everyone. Really? Why? Why no one believe Gonta? Gonta feels so pathetic. Honestly, the most suspicious out of all of the people here is Himiko right now, because she keeps pointing her finger at Gonta the entire time, and tries to like thro throw off our investigation by saying these things. I mean, that's probably just how she is in general, but I don't know. It makes her seem a little sus, honestly. <laughs> So let's see, we probably want to check uh, the video racks to see if the bug movie is missing or whatever. There are a lot of movies crammed into the bookcase. Uh. Oh, The Legend of 1900. I've always wanted to see this film. Yeah, That's... let's do it right now. <laughs> oh man. The one with the pianist that has eyes like a dead fish, right? Huh? This film won awards for its phenomenal music. US audiences were moved to tears. Really? Well, Americans do tend to get emotional. Huh? What else do they have here? Huh? I grabbed a movie at random, and the case was covered with pictures of naked men and women. Okay, just put that back. Um. <laughs> Find any movies over there? Um. um Nothing suspicious over here! Uh, let's go look somewhere else! There's uh, th th uh, nothing! What happened? <laughs> What's wrong? Did you see something? That's wrong! Uh, I said it's nothing! <laughs> There's nothing here but a bunch of movies! I mean, movies! <laughs> Wait! Uh, Kaida, you're panicking! It's okay if you found a clue! You can tell me! Here, let me look! Ah, <laughs> uh, No, don't come over here! <laughs> A couple minutes later, we're both looking down at the floor with beet red faces. <laughs> oh wow. Well. Right? I told you. Sorry. Uh, let's investigate something else. <laughs> oh man, this this is such a silly investigation. <laughs> There's some posters rolled up with the rubber bands and cylindrical bucket. Um. Is this a movie poster? They're all the same too. I took a poster out and unrolled it. Oh, let's go! Ultra the Speckles 2 coming soon. <gasps> what? Seriously? Is, th is this for real? Is this just another joke? <laughs> Dude, let's go! The Speggles 2. <laughs> it looks like a game, but I've never heard of it before. Wait, you never you never played the first one? Ah, oh, shame on you, Kaede. Hmm. A high school girl with a megaphone and a serial killer? Sounds like some lame spin-off. Uh, um. Is this one of Monokuma's pranks? Yeah. Probably. I'm so glad I checked that. <laughs> so the bug movie should still be in the video player. A video player for watching movies. There's no video inside though. Interesting. Oh, it doesn't. Oops, okay. <laughs> it doesn't have anything to do with the case. Well, excuse me for thinking it did. <laughs> Let's just forget this ever happened and move on. <laughs> okay. This door is different than the one we used to enter the game room. Um. 
Is this connected to the hallway or? You're right. It seems that way. Let's check. Yeah. It's a sliding door. I'll open it. Well, we tried to open it before, but it didn't work. I tried to open it, but. Kachunk. Huh? <laughs> huh? That's weird. It doesn't open all the way. Um. Looks like it wasn't installed, right? I can only stick my arms through. Uh, my arm through. Hmm. I can see the hallway on the other side, but I suppose it's not possible to use this door. No. No, no. If it's going to, it doesn't matter if the door is stuck. Yeah, that's... What I thought was gonna be brought up here. <laughs> He's strong enough to throw that super heavy manhole cover with just two fingers. Uh. That's right. Yeah, he could eat this door for breakfast. Gonta never do that! Gonta not eat door for breakfast? Breakfast most important meal of any gentleman's day. Okay. I agree. Huh? Huh, you think Gonta could eat this door? What? No. Uh, no. Not that. I mean, I don't think he did anything like that. Look at this. Is that alright? There's dust piled up on the railing of the door. This sliding door hasn't moved in a while. Mm. So then, he just forced his way through the gap. How? Mm. <laughs> That's it, like, yeah, I know. That's not possible. There's maybe enough space for a baseball to fit through. Why are you saying that? No! <laughs> so, someone could have thrown the shot put ball? They... Like, how accurate would you have to be, though, to pull that off? <laughs> Damn. <sighs> Why would you say that? Come on. As if this case wasn't complica uh, complicated enough as it is right now. I guess an arm could fit through as well. If it were thin, though. It's magic. Yeah, Gonta doesn't have thin arms. So then, he probably used magic that makes you slim and keeps the fat off. Wait! Fat, it's probably like all muscle. <laughs> Gonta no can use magic. Okay. Oh, I can use magic. Okay. These two never have anything important to say, yeah? That's the case so far. What's the matter? Shuichi? No. Nothing. Just something I want to confirm. I'm going to try the sliding door one more time. As Shuichi peeked through the gap of the sliding door, he muttered. I knew it. I thought so. Look, you can see the rare entrance to the library from here. Yeah, we kind of make, made that connection already. Like, both entrances were like right next to each other, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, this door and the rare entrance are located straight across from one another. Huh? So what? That's... I'm not sure if it matters yet, but it is a little concerning. Concerning? How? Alright. Hmm. Well, yeah, now that that's... It has to be connected to the case then. I think we've investigated everything here too. Mm-hmm. Then what should we do next? I'll search hey. for Angie and the others. For now, let's ask the others some questions. There's still uh, people we haven't talked to. Aww. This would be done with if we had the pictures. We wouldn't have to waste our time like this. It's, it's still good to talk to everyone. Um, seeing what they've witnessed and everything. We'd already know who the mastermind is. Hmm. That's true, but we shouldn't wait around and do nothing. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So, right now, this is suggesting that Rantaro was killed by someone who threw the shot put ball through the gap at the door, which would also mean that the library door would, would have have to been like wide open, which means that Rantor probably entered the library through the rear entrance, left the door open, 
something something. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, let's leave for now. Let's see if we can find the others. Uh, this is gonna be a long part. I hope you guys don't mind. I just really want to finish this investigation and not just like leave it. All uh, right now. Leave it unfinished. Yo! How convenient that you two are here. Perfect. Oh, Tenko! I wanted to ask you something. We asked Tenko, uh, Tenko about what happened in the game room. But she only confirmed what Maki had told us and didn't provide any new information. Mm -hmm. I see. That's right! I knew it! Gonta would be the most suspicious since he locked himself in the AV room. Not to mention, he's also a male. <laughs> hmm. Um, are you submitting that as evidence? Hey. <laughs> By the way, how has your investigation been going? No. I haven't done any investigating. What? Huh? Yeah, what? <laughs> degenerate male! Hey, degenerate! Don't give me that face! I've been doing something else. I've been watching Angie. Huh? Watching Angie? Listen up! We agreed to investigate with one other person, right? But Angie's just been wandering around alone. I see. Oh, that's why you're with Angie. Um... I don't want to suspect anyone either, but... Girls' lives are at stake here. Okay. For an investigation like this to work, we have to trust each other. <laughs> oh, she does not look happy right now. <laughs> Degenerate males! Don't act all high and mighty with me, you two-faced degenerate. No. Sorry, that wasn't my intention. Wait, but... So, we actually didn't... Like, um... Sign up anyone for, like, guard duty this time around, like, to, like, guard the uh, crime scene. I guess it's fine, because there are enough people in the library right now. It's not like we, uh, yeah, just all leaving that place. So I think it's fine as it is right now. Okay, monitor here. What's up, Angie? Hey. You're not gonna investigate, Angie. I. Investigating is important, but I gotta say my prayers to Atua too. Amen. Oh, Atua. Please let Rantaro enter heaven safe and sound. Hey! I suppose a prayer couldn't hurt. Hmm. Rantaro died in such a gruesome way. Would he be able to go to heaven in peace? It'd be nice if he could. It'll be okay. Don't worry, I'll pray hard. If I pray hard enough, I'll earn enough points to become a platinum disciple. Huh? Sounds like a credit card rewards program. <laughs> okay. So these two haven't done any investigating, it seems like. Is that all you have to say? Amen! Oh, Atua, please let Rontaro enter heaven safe and sound. Okay. Huh. Let's see, who else do we want to talk to? Can't remember if there was already everyone or not. Himiko, Maki... Oh, I think it was, yeah. Uh, let's go to the classroom, I wanted to check the vent here. Oh, it's still closed. Okay. <gasps> Kaede, Shuichi, I would like to ask you to your question. You're on lookout inside this classroom, right? Yeah. Yeah, from here we could keep an eye on the basement. And it was close to the library too. You're right. That's our alibi. We are both in this classroom when the murder occurred. I see. I see. Then the probability that you two committed the crime is extremely low. By the way, 
Were you two together the entire time? No. Uh-uh. No, I did leave for a bit to see what was happening in the basement. But besides that, we were together the whole time, until the receiver went off. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Thank you very much. I understand. Thank you very much. Okay. Hey. Is that all you wanted to ask? Um... Oh, may I ask you one more question? Specifically about that vent. By the way... It appears to be connected to this classroom. Yeah, it leads to the library. The air duct in the basement hallway leads to it. That's... Yeah, I was also concerned about this vent. That's why you kept watch in this classroom. That's right. Because the culprit wouldn't be able to use this vent if we're in here on lookout. That's right. Under those circumstances, it would be difficult to sneak into the library from here. Okay. Kaya has stacked up books in front of the library vent as well. With those in the way, it would, it would have been even harder for someone to go in and out. I'll commit that to my memory bank. Okay. <laughs> really? I will be sure to save that important piece of information to my memory bank. Well, that's convenient. <laughs> Classroom vent has been added to the truth bullet section. Thank you very much. I hope my line of questioning has not offended either of you. It is necessary so that we may find the truth. Hmm. Kibo, you totally sounded like a detective or a lawyer just now. Uh. Oh, maybe you were a detective or a lawyer in a past life. <laughs> a past life? How could I have past life when I'm not made of human components? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay. Have you noticed anything, Kyo? Let me guess. You wish to hear my alibi, yes? Huh? Huh? How'd you know? You see. My appearance and actions thus far suggest I'm someone who would commit a murder. At least you're self-aware. Well. So, to briefly state the truth. When the body discovery announcement played, I was in a dining hall eating supper. Ah, yes. The other people there with me were Miyu, Kirumi, and Tsumugi. The Manu Cups prepared the meal for me. It was listed on the menu as... Pasta that tastes like a lonely old lady eating her grandkids' birthday cake. <laughs> or some such. Hmm. That pasta sounds depressing. Do you understand? That concludes my alibi. I do hope it can be of some help. Hey! And what about the people around you? Did you notice anything in particular? Yes. Ah, uh, if there was something to note, it would be that Mio was tinkering with something or other. There was also a brief period of time when Sumugi left to use the restroom. Mm. The restroom, huh? Interesting. Well, Sumugi is the ultimate cosplayer. She could have gone to the bathroom to secretly disguise herself as someone else. Uh, um... Someone else? But who? Yeah. I don't know, but I'll go talk to her. She should be at the crime scene in the library. Okay. Hey! Hey, Kibo! What were you doing and where during the body discovery announcement? Hmm. Ah, my alibi. Oh! Uh, are you glitching right now? Well... No, I'm just searching for the right words. In all honesty, I was alone in my room, so I admit my alibi is not altogether reliable. Um... So, you don't have an alibi? Uh. But Ryoma said he was alone in his room too. Jeez, way to throw him under the bus. Huh? Huh, that was not my intention. But I see, both Kibo and Ryoma don't have an alibi. That means it's possible one of those two is the mastermind. Um... Um, am I under suspicion because I don't have an alibi? No. No, I won't suspect you just because you don't have an alibi. 
Of course. And I'm not saying that because you're a robot or anything. I'm not robophobic at all. Thank you very much. But you don't need to be so PC. Okay. Okay. Putting aside the thing about Tsumugi, now we know everyone's alibi. Huh? Huh? What about Kokichi? No. We don't need to ask him. He was definitely alone. Everyone we talked to hadn't seen him, so no one would co uh, corroborate his alibi, right? That means he must have been alone. I see. Are oh, you right? I guess that's why you're a detective and I am not. <laughs> One second. Just want to check something. Okay, that was Ryoma. Okay. I just wanted to confirm who that was. Cool. So those two don't have an alibi. But it's hard to believe that Ryoma would kill someone since he offered to give up his life, right? To not have anyone murdered. Uh, let's check the vent just to be safe. It's the vent that connects to the library. Shuichi and I were on lookout in the classroom that connects with this vent. Okay. Um, so we should go to the library and ask the cosplayer girl. But I think we should also head to the dining hall, right? To confirm what Kyo has said. Let's see if we're allowed to do that even. Ah, Kokichi. Oh? Oh, investigating together, are we? You two sure have gotten awfully chummy. Uh. Are you here alone, Kokichi? Mm -hmm. Yeah, why? Jeez. You all agreed to investigate with at least one other person. Was it? Oh, did we? Well, just because we agreed doesn't mean we have to do it, right? Hey. Why would you do something that would make everyone suspicious of you? Right? Because I'm an evil supreme leader, remember? I'm supposed to be suspicious. Is that alright? Anyway, there's something I wanted to ask you. What were you doing at the time when Taro was killed? Oh, an interrogation from the ultimate detective himself? What a rare opportunity! Then I'll gladly answer. To tell you the truth, <laughs> I was in the library, smashing in Rantaro's head! Huh? <laughs> oh. Of course he would say that. As the liar. Hey, quit screwing around and take this seriously! Why? Why? Do I really need to tell you guys what I was doing? Huh? What? Because? If I gave you honest answers now, it'd just make everything boring, right? I'd rather just tell you at the class trial. that will be way more fun. Shit. The trial's gonna be boring anyway, since we'll have photo evidence. Stop it. What are you saying? Anyway. I'm just saying, this is a game. Let's have some fun with it. That's wrong. Oh my god, this guy. <laughs> This isn't a game. Rontaro was murdered. All our lives are at stake. How exciting! Exactly! It's a game of life or death! <laughs> I'm so excited! I want the class trial to start already! Is Kokichi actually enjoying the situation? It surely seems like it. Fuck! <laughs> Oh, this is, he's making things more complicated than they need to be. Tsumugi should be in the library. Okay, just wanted to check out the menu or whatever, but doesn't seem to be important right now. So we'll just believe in what Kyo said. Hey, Tsumugi, I need to ask you something. Uh, hmm. She looks like she's busy thinking about something. She won't talk to me. Hmm. Okay, but that's not no excuse to give up. 
I grabbed the hem of Tsumugi's skirt and began to lift it slowly. <laughs> Got it? I'm gonna lift your skirt, Tsumugi. You okay with that? Uh, wait, Kaede. <laughs> you better talk. I'm gonna lift your skirt for Shuichi to see. And then I'm gonna tie your skirt around your head so everyone can see your panties. I understand. <laughs> I, I just need to talk, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, it took you long enough. Oh. At first we like pinched her cheek, now we're lifting her skirt. <laughs> What's up with that? Well, I can't let Chuichi's innocent eyes get dirty. That's wrong. Uh, no, they won't get dirty. Shuichi. Are you saying you've seen dirty <laughs> Shuichi? What's wrong? What did you want to talk about? You know? I'm just gonna cut to the chase. Since you're the ultimate cosplayer, that means you could disguise yourself as anyone, even one of us, right? Uh... Oh, so that's what you think of me. Well, since you're in the situation, I'll be clear. That's impossible! I only cosplay fictional characters. I don't cosplay real people. Or rather, I can't. Um... Can't? Isn't it easy to just wear someone else's clothes as a disguise and... You can't! Cosplay isn't a disguise! Huh? Ah, oh, sorry. I guess. Well, you'll probably have a hard time believing me if I just say it. So, I'll show you. Um... Show me? How? Come here. Oh, come on, Kaede. Uh... Oh, wait! What are we doing? <laughs> Smoogie grabbed my hand and dragged me to the girls' bathroom on the first floor. Um... Uh, are you gonna punch me or tie me up? Hey what, now! Why would you think that? <laughs> hey now, there's no way I'd do a thing like that. Hey! Now hurry up and take your clothes off! Huh? Why? Why? Uh... Well, because I'm going to cosplay as you, of course. Now give me your clothes. I mean, it's fair, she just wants to prove that it doesn't work, I guess. Huh? Huh? But... Right? Come on, come on, hurry up! Huh? What? I slowly undressed and handed my clothes to Sumugi. After telling me to look the other way, I waited while she changed into my clothes. Yeah! Okay, now you can look. What? Huh? What happened? A gross, bumpy rash had spread across Tsubuki's body. Hi, I'm Kaede Akamatsu. What happened? Uh, uh! <laughs> oh god. This isn't cosplay of the spiky headed underling of a certain space emperor. Oh, so that's how you remove the dialogue. It's the Q button. Okay, good to know. This is Cospox, an allergic reaction that happens when I dress up as real people. All right. This is the price for my power, the equivalent exchange for my cosplay. Uh, okay, I get it. Change out of my clothes already. <laughs> Okay, th that proves that, then, I guess. We exchanged our clothes, then returned to the library where Shuichi was waiting. So, only fictional characters. What happened? Kaede, what's wrong? Uh... Sumugi couldn't have disguised herself. Yeah. You understand, since you saw the cost box, right? Cosplay is love. You're right! You breathe life into characters, it's almost like you're summoning them. From fiction into real world, like an oracle channeling the gods. Um. That's why I can cosplay various characters from across the wide world of fiction. But it's impossible to cosplay as someone who exists in the real world. Right? Because that's not cosplay, it's just impersonating someone. Uh. I really didn't need that long explanation. Huh? Alright, yeah, I was about to say, are we like close to being done here? <laughs> so, okay, it seems like her ability, like her ultimate ability, won't come into play, that seems, at all. That's interesting. 
Because we would be able to tell immediately if she was trying to impersonate someone else. Huh? This chime. It's time, isn't it? You bastards! It's time, you bastards! Time for the long-awaited class trial! Not that! No, it's not! We're just announcing that the photos are ready. <gasps> okay! Don't interrupt me! Right, we still haven't seen those. <laughs> Oh, they got me with that. Anyway, I'll be waiting at the warehouse. Monokid right uh, is still under the weather. <laughs> hey, does my face look weird to you? Has my face always looked this weird? So long, farewell. I don't know, that's, that's a pretty deep question. Hey. Alright. Let's go. Come on, get a move on. Ah, oh. oh, wait, Kaede. I ran as fast as I could to the school warehouse. I couldn't stay put, knowing that the truth was so close at hand. It's gonna be the last piece of evidence that we need. I'm assuming. I ran a, a full sprint to the warehouse. Wait! Uh, wait, Kaede! You shouldn't get so worked up! Please. I can't help it, we're so close to learning the truth. We're gonna find out who the mastermind is. Rising Shiner sign! Don't think it's gonna be that obvious. Oh, you came! We're intruding! Sure did! I came to see you, toots! <laughs> You're as lovely as always! Oh, oh Monosuke, you're such a flirt! Ah, may I join you for a drink? <laughs> what are you saying? Drink as much as you want. I've got cash to burn. Hey, mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you. Excuse me, can we get a bottle here? <laughs> this is great. <laughs> hey, how long are you guys gonna do this for? T take these. <laughs> Wait, what happened to you? It's all the photos. They're separated in envelopes for each camera. Alright. Use them to take that bastard down. It's all up to you now. <laughs> Dumbass! I'm so rich! What's a journalist gonna do about it? Nothing, that's what. By the way, Monofanny, wanna get out of here after you shift hands? <laughs> I want a fancy steak dinner. <laughs> What's your name and age? Home district? Salary? Do you have another job? You're on the so long, <laughs> Confusing as always. Uh, anyway, it looks like we have the pictures now. Yeah. Yeah, finally. Alright, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Everyone's here. Um. Kaede, are those the developed photos? Right? The culprit should be in those photos, right? <laughs> How exciting! I wanna see the dumb look on the culprit's face! Alright! Alright, let's take a look! Um... Let's look at the photos taken by the camera near in the front entrance first. The envelope that says front entrance has a total of four pictures. That, that's a lot! <laughs> let's see the first picture. Oh, wait, 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 this is the first picture it said, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was right, he must have entered through the rare entrance. Ah. Yeah, this was right before we found Rontaro's body. <laughs> That's a pretty bad picture of me, but don't focus on it too much, okay? <laughs> what do you mean? It's fine. But of course. Rest assured, we do not care. Mm. Alright, let's go to the next one. Um. um, this is... Is this... It's a picture of us running into the library after we heard Tenko's, uh, Tenko scream. 
That doesn't help us at all. Hurry up and show us the next picture. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It seems as if... This is everyone else who came to the library after the body discovery announcements. Yeah. Everyone pictured here, myself included, was on our way to the basement. So we got there a bit late. You know... Hey, these are all pictures of when we found the body. Hmm. There's one more photo of the front entrance, correct? Yeah. Yeah, let's take a look at that one. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's when he... Yeah, well, took down the camera. <laughs> huh, Shuichi? Oh. Ah, sorry. It looks like I tripped one of the sensors when I was remo uh, removing the cameras. What are you saying? Uh... Um, this picture doesn't seem to have any clues that will help us either. Hmm. The camera pointed at the front entrance only snapped these four pictures. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like the other two cameras will have more important uh, photos. And neither Rantaro nor anyone else who could be the culprit are in the photos. Hey. Did they both enter through the back door then? That is correct. Let, let's examine the photos taken by the camera near the rear entrance then. Yeah. Huh. Only two photos were taken by the camera pointed at the rear entrance. Okay, I expected more. Um, let's see the first picture. Yeah, he was the first one to enter. Okay, so... That makes sense. Rontaro! I knew it! So Rontaro went in through the rear entrance. Perhaps so no one would see him? I see. I thought it might be possible that he was moved to the library after being murdered. But that does not appear to be the case. If so... The library was the only spot where we found blood. So that means he was killed in a library after going there uh, of his own will. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Maybe it'll show the mastermind. Huh? Are you kidding me? What? I, I knew one of the pictures would have to be uh, Shuichi taking down the camera, but... That's why I was so confused about why there was only two pictures. Damn. So no one else entered through the rear entrance. And when Run Tower came in, the door was open, right? But as you can see here, Banchuichi, it's closed. So I don't think he could have been killed from the AV room because the camera would would have uh, snapped the picture, right? Sorry. Ah, oh, sorry, me again. This is from when I was removing the camera. Yeah. <laughs> what an attention hog! <laughs> oh. No. He had no choice. To remove the cameras, he had to be close to the sensors. But then... How? <laughs> um. That's all for the rare entrance. Just these two photos. Mm. So, but... That only leaves the possibility that the killer entered through the vent, but... I thought we confirmed that that didn't happen. Another possibility would be because there are two people without alibis, right? One of them could have been hiding inside of the secret uh, Monokuma door and then left, killed Rantaro, and then escaped through the vent. 
because no one could have escaped through through those doors. We would have the pictures if that, if that were the case. I'm so confused. Like the vent has to be the path the killer took them. It has to be. Huh? Huh? Culprit not in rare entrance photo either? Why? What does this mean? They're not in either the front or rare entrance pictures. Uh. Yeah, that's really odd. Why isn't there a picture of the mastermind entering? Hey. Hey, Shrichi. Don't you think that's weird? Uh, um. Let's look at the pictures from the hidden door camera. That might be. That might tell us something. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. This is our last hope now. That camera should should have captured the moment the, uh, the mastermind opened the door. I hope that was the case as I removed the photos from the envelope. There were two photos. The first one was... Uh. From Taro. Okay. Hmm. But if Rontaro was the one who moved the bookcase, then... But I mean, he didn't have the... Like, the card on him or whatever. Maybe he just wanted to check on the dust as well? Like, on the card reader? Oh. But yeah, he obviously knew about the hidden door. Huh? He must have known about the hidden door. Could it be... Could the culprit have gone into the hidden door? I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that is a possibility. Do you understand? For now, let us see the next picture. There's one remaining, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. Here it is. Huh? What? This. <laughs> There's no clue here, come on! Hmm? Huh? What's Rontaro doing? Well, he found the camera. Yeah. It looks like he's reaching for the camera. Maybe he was trying to remove it. Ah! Ah! I did notice something while I was removing the camera. The security sensor for this camera was switched off. If so... In that case, this photo was likely taken just before the sensor was turned off. Hmm. But that would mean that Rantaro noticed it. He saw our hidden camera. By the way. Moving the bookcase triggers the sensor, which in turn activates the camera, right? The bookcase appears to have already been moved, so why did the sensor activate? I don't get it! Who cares? What happened to the culprit? No 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 no. How come they're not in any of the photos. It seems as if. This last photo must have been taken shortly before Rantaro was killed. Yeah, that's exactly the spot where he died as well. However. If so, then the culprit should be pictured right behind him in this photo. But yeah, we can't see it. Uh. Then why is the culprit nowhere to be seen? Perhaps because the culprit really is like a lot further back in the AV room, but I don't know, man. What is this case? <sighs> I'm still not making sense of any of this. That's all the photos. So we gained no new clues. And we still don't know who the culprit is. <laughs> what a fucking waste! Why? Did she really develop all the photos? Maybe she got rid of uh, the ones that showed the culprit. Yeah, th that's what I was thinking as well, but... We don't know that. <laughs> we, we just don't know that. Are you gonna tell us? How? How rude! I developed all the film that I was given. Yeah, okay, I guess we just have to take a word for it. 
I swear by my almighty daddy that I did. You bastards! <laughs> Those are all the photos from the hidden cameras. So relax and get to deducing. Don't screw around! These are seriously all the pictures? You gotta be kidding me. The culprit's not in any of them. If the culprit didn't go to the library, then how'd they kill Rontaro? Mm. Uh, so this must be what they call a perfect crime. Huh? A perfect crime? I'm disappointed. Oh man, I've only been slacking off because I thought those photos would reveal the culprit. Uh, no. You should have been helping us investigate. By the way. Now he's sweating. Oh, by the way. Hmm. Rontaro had his monopad the whole time, didn't he? Do you think anything was in it? I do not agree. The student handbook did not contain much in the way of pertinent information. Well. I doubt it has anything to do with the case. He simply had his monopad with him. Okay. I inspected this monopad, but I didn't find anything suspicious about it. Oh man. So it's got nothing to do with the case. How confusing. Are you okay? Kaede, are you okay? Uh. Why? Why aren't they in the pictures? If the mastermind had these photos, it would have solved everything. So, why the hell? Uh, um... Kaede. Alright! It's time for what you've all been waiting for! The class trial! Please assemble in front of the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard! There? Oh, is that where we're gonna hold the class trial? I see. It, it's, uh, the name is perfectly fitting in that case. Remember that red door surrounded by plants? It's just on the other side. From there, you'll be escorted to a delightful class trial. Oh, okay. <laughs> see you all there. Wow. Huh? T time already? That is correct. It seems you have no choice but to continue this discussion at the class trial. <sighs> I don't want to go. What a pain. Me neither. What a pain. <laughs> what, you're scared? An NPC like you has nothing to be scared of. No. It'll be fine. I just feel like my back is up against the wall. Yeah. We just need to expose the mastermind in this class trial. Yeah, that's right. And then everything, including this killing game, will come to an end. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Got it. Let's find the mastermind. And if it's a man, let's beat him to death. Jeez. <laughs> Isn't beating them to death going a bit far? Everyone followed Monokuma's instructions and walked toward the courtyard. Oh boy. We're left behind. Are you okay? Kaede, really, are you okay? Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to worry you. I'm just so shocked. I really thought that everything would be resolved once you looked at the photos. But I can't give up. I can still expose the mastermind in this class trial. And then everything, even this killing game, will come to an end. Yeah. I'm okay now, Shuichi. Right? Let's go. It's a red door in the courtyard, right? Alright. Well, let's go there. Um, I think I'll call this part there then. Let's see if we meet anyone else on our way. It looks like everyone is there already. What a confusing case! 
Oh, I, I think... I'll definitely want to look at the truth bullets again as well before we start the investigation. I might just cut that part out though. Um, so I can collect my thoughts and everything. It's this door, right? Yeah, alright. Let's um, let's save the game here for now. I'm sure we, we won't start the class trial right away in the next part. Like, we'll probably have some things to discuss first. But I'll just include that there. Um, yeah, this part is already long enough as it is, I feel like. Um, so I don't know if I'll finish the entire class trial in the next video. It just all depends on how long it's gonna take me, honestly. I'll definitely do it in one sitting. And if I feel like I have to split the trial into two parts, I'll just do that. So we'll see. Yeah, it all depends on how the how the trial goes. But all right, interesting. But yeah, I'm still like clueless, honestly, as to who could have been the culprit here. We'll just have to figure it out in the class trial, honestly. I don't know who to suspect. <laughs> like, I, I, at first I was like really suspicious of Himiko, but then again, she wouldn't be strong enough to to have killed uh, Rontaro with that shot put ball. I'm sure of it. And right now, all the evidence we have is like pointing towards Gonta, but I'll just I'll just have to think about it a bit more. Right now I can't come to a conclusion, honestly. <laughs> um, so yeah. I'll, I'll call it here. So, thanks again everyone for joining me on my Danganronpa V3 Let's Play. And I'll hopefully catch you in the next part, where we start the first class trial. I'll see how that goes. <laughs> Alright, but until then, take care everyone. Ooh, I'm excited. What you think of that? Now one, that's your habitat. I'm a bird guy, and I'm a fish that can eat any thing. Can't eat the root of all my better than what you got. Boys and girls, whatever they're doing is undead, so we'll never see. Putting on a mask, why you ask for the red and blue? That's just that.